This is Mr. Knowles, and this is a mini lesson about using a protractor to draw angles. So hopefully you have a protractor at home to practice with, and we're going to draw some angles. So let's see which one we're going to do first here. Let's start with a right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees. So what I usually do is I have my students first draw a line right along the bottom of their protractor. Like that. And I usually put a dot there on one of the ends. I take my protractor, I put the bullseye right over the dot, and then I make sure that this uh, zero line here, which a lot of people aren't, aren't really uh, paying attention to, is that line physically needs to be right on top of the line you just drew. Put that back there. If they excuse my lines, I'm using a smart board. It'd be better if I was actually using real paper and a protractor would be nice and straight. So I'm going to set that bullseye right over there and that line, that, that zero 180 lines right on top of, right on top of that of the protractor. And then I find, find 90 degrees right here. I highlighted it. I'm just going to put a dot up there. Then it's just a matter of turning my protractor using that straight edge to connect those two dots. You always want two dots to connect. And draw along the edge of your protractor. And then move your protractor out of the way. Just get it out of the way for now. And what you hopefully have done is you've drawn a 90 degree angle. I'd make a habit of putting that symbol in there and it's 90 degrees. Let's try another one. Let's do an acute angle. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So let's think about a number. Um, let's do 70. So I'm going to make a 70 degree angle it's going to be less than 90 degrees and it's acute and we've been learning about this in class so first things first draw a line right along the straight edge of the protractor put a dot there and take your protractor and put that bullseye right over there like that and making sure that the line is right over that zero part and I said 70 degrees. The 70 degrees that I want is right here. Because if I drew a line to it, that angle would be less than 90. You don't want to make the mistake and go towards this 70 over here because then you're making an obtuse angle, which is greater. It's opening more than 90 degrees. So you have to pay attention to what you're trying to draw because there's an obtuse and an acute angle that complement each other to make 180. And maybe you're familiar with protractors and their use, maybe not. But pay attention to what you're drawing. So I'm going to put a dot right here. Then, I'm going to turn my protractor to get that straight edge. It's a great tool to draw the straight lines with. That's why it's straight. It's for you to draw your lines. And then you're going to run your pencil right along there. You're going to move your protractor out of the way the best you can. Mine has those dashes for a circle for some reason. You just have to ignore that. And I always like to finish it off with a couple of arrowheads there. 
and this measure is 70 degrees. It's less than 90, so it's acute. Let's do another one. Obtuse. Now I'm going to make an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees. And again, start out just drawing a line along that straight edge. Put a dot somewhere. Then take that bullseye, put it right over the dot, making sure that this line, zero line of the protractor is right on top of that line you just drew. I should not see this because then you're off and I should not see something like that then you're off. The zero line, 180 line, literally has to be on top of that line as perfect as you can. I'm going to do obtuse. Obtuse is greater than 90. That means my angle is going to open up way past 90 out here somewhere. That's what I want to achieve. So I'm going to pick, um, I think 120. So I'm going to find 120 out here somewhere to the left. And some kids will notice that. They'll tell me, Mr. Knowles, there's a 60 there. Well, there's also a 120 there. You have to understand what you're drawing. And I'm my angle is going to be opening greater than 90 when I'm done. I can visualize that. So you have to visualize what you're constructing. I'm going to erase that little highlighted part. I made my dot up above the 120. Now I just need to take my protractor and turn it. Move it over there. Line it up the best I can. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love geometry. You may not, but I really enjoy it. Spent a lot of time dra taking drafting classes, so it's probably why I like it. Connect those dots. Move my protractor out of the way, just to the side. Put some arrowheads on there. That is greater than 90 degrees. It was 120, I believe. So I made a 120 degree angle. It's obtuse. If you're at home watching this, what I would like you to do is practice. So I'd like you to draw these six angles with your protractor. So if you do that on a piece of paper, have mom or dad sign it, bring it to school, I'll check your work, and if you've accomplished that, I'll use that towards um, your uh, geometry score. I just want to make sure that you're practicing at home. It's really important that you get the, a really good handle on this stuff. It might be all new to you, so the more you practice, the better you're going to achieve, and it's going to be be just easier to you and it'll come naturally with practice. So practice at home. If you want to draw more angles, go ahead and draw more angles. Get really comfortable with it. The more you practice, the better you're going to be. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.